hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel and in this video today i will show you uh, how to uh, fix uh, error code 5495 while downloading app from google play store now this error generally occurs when you are trying to download and install app uh, in your android device uh, by using wi-fi if you will find this video helpful then please like and share this video now the first thing to do is you need to make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is working fine so try to uh, download and install application or try to surf website in another device and check if the Wi-Fi is strong enough to do so and the next thing which you can do is you just switch off your router wait for a few seconds and then switch on so once you do these basic things if it doesn't work then let's see what to do next I will go to settings We'll go to applications here we we'll go to application manager then swipe on the right until you see all scroll down then look for download manager S select it and then select clear data again go back and look for google play services select it and select clear cache again select google play store here then select clear data so once you uh, clear all the cache and data then try to check if uh, you can download application from the google play store now if you cannot do so then what you can do is you can always uh, uh, revert your Google Play Store to the factory version and try to update it again so open Google Play Store then select here go to settings and check what is the version you have right now at first I have 7.6.08 now what you can do is if this Google Play Store uh, is new version then you can always go back to the factory version again Now the next thing you can do is always you can uh, revert back your Google Play Store to the factory version and then update it again. Go to settings, applications here, go to application manager, scroll down and look for Play St Google Play Store and select uninstall updates, ok, uninstall. Now you can see the Google Play Store is right now uninstalling so google play store uninstall now the version let us see what is the version of the google play store right now I'll select here go to settings and if you see the build version it is 5.1 uh, 5.10.30 so you can update the uh, google play store so select on build version and you can see that a newer version of Google Play Store will be downloaded and installed. This message has appeared. Select OK. So once you select OK, just leave it for a few seconds. And what you will see is the Google Play Store will be updated to the latest version. Now, once the Google Play Store is again updated to the latest version, try to download app from the Google Play Store. Let me sh uh, see what is the version right now. I'll open Play Store again. the application is being installed so let us wait for a few seconds okay now I have opened Google Play Store let me go to settings and let me see the build version if you see the build version is 7.5.08 so google play store has updated to the latest version now try to download and install apps now in some cases what happens is some of the applications it may not be or it can't be downloaded in your country because your internet service provider may have restricted for downloading those apps for example in some part of the world social media apps such as facebook messenger or facebook or twitter cannot be installed so in that case what you can do is you can try to install VPN software and check if you can 
download the application or not there are many vpn software which you can find in google play store go to google play store here and search for vpn you will see a lot of vpn uh, try to install any of the free vpn and check if you can download the application or not now after doing all of these also if you cannot uh, correct this uh, correct this error then the last reset for you will be to you know, the last thing which you can do is to uh, restore this iPhone restore this Samsung phone or any Android device to the factory version go to settings here then you can go to backup and reset you can select factory data reset so once you do that one you can see that all the data from the Google account system and app data everything will be erased so if you want to erase everything and uh, move back your Android device to the factory version select reset device so once you do that one uh, check again if you can download the apps from Google Play Store or not but this will be the last version so you have to better back up all of your data before you restore to the factory version thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel